My name is Relentless Slamin' Brewster. I am Chris Bird. Yeah, I'm James Vazal Tony. My name is Russell Gray Nurse. Hi, I'm Ready Ball. Uh, it's just my opinion. I think Floyd is uh, one of the greatest fighters of all times. And I think that only Floyd can beat Floyd unless his A's decide to catch up with him. I think the only way he loses this fight with Madonna is A, if he just get hit, you know, with a punch he don't see and that happens in the sport. Or B, mentally, uh, he's distracted going into the ring uh, because, you know, the man hasn't lost in any of his pro fights. He's been champion for like 17 years, something like that. And, you know, sometimes a person can be overconfident. Not saying Floyd is because I do Floyd and amateurs. He's the exact same person he is today, just he got money, you know what I mean, as he was back then. And I got a lot of respect for him. I, I think he's going to show up and show out. I think this is a fight that he's going to get up for, and I think that people are going to be uh, impressed to see, you know, what Floyd can really do when he has a fight, when he has a fighter in front of him that can bring out the best in him. You know, developing a skill set that's almost unmatched. So that's why he can reign so long. When you, when you look at when you look at boxing, you look at boxers. You see a kid like that. I seen boxing when 15 years old. It was something special. But in a lot of tournaments, though, you see a lot of talent in the tournament. I mean, a lot. Where he gonna be a superstar. He gonna be good. He gonna be good. And then they just fall off. Not fall off from boxing. Streets. Or lost interest, they're gone. Like, and the ones that did stay, they won title. I mean, you get to high level. He stayed with boxing. Learned at an early age the skill set that he has now. I mean, the kid could just flat out fight. I think he could have competed. Yeah. He could have known Ray Robinson. He could have competed. He could have known Ray Robinson. Yeah, yeah he could have been. He could have been. He could have been all night, but we don't know what would have happened by then. Cause it's yeah. not now. It's so one we, thing. I mean, still would have loved to see him say that he would have been this and that. Like they used to say about Tyson, would Tyson be better than Muhammad Ali or whatever? Would he beat Muhammad Ali? It was a different age and everything. Yeah. Hey, it's one thing competing and yeah. another thing winning. That's right. Now competing, going against these guys, of course. Yeah. If you're going I don't know if you're gonna win every one of them, but he got he got the skill set to compete. Exactly. That's, why, that's, why, that's, why, that's why that's why that's why Reddy Bo didn't want to fight him. Because we talking about Sugar Ray Robinson and Floyd Mayweather. I just don't see him beating Ray Robinson. No, no, not that. I ain't say I ain't say beating him. I say competing with him. That Mayweather would have whooped his ass. The whole time. And I Casey mean, would have stank it. <laughs> yeah, he mean that shit. <laughs> yeah. uh -oh. Hey, hey, time we call him Pink and Tang. I don't want to hear this. We call him Pink and Tang. You said, oh, I'm sorry. Leave him alone. No, man. We call him Pink and Tang. We don't call him Lance Lord. Let's wrap this up. We call him Pink and Tang. No, let him be what he wants. Let me say what I gotta say. What would've happened? If it would've happened, what would've happened? I'm not gonna jump out, Benjamin. He knew it, I knew that never happened. He always gave us these excuses and whatnot, why he wouldn't fight me, or why, you know, whatever the case may be. But that's what if I didn't have, he didn't want to fight me. So for the record, you said Lewis was ducking you. I done dust the dude junk, yeah, that's all. And he know it. He done can't take a punt. Rock my knock him out. I mean, Rock man, what, what, what does he have to compare to my right hand? Nothing. Yeah, that's the guy by the name of Herbie Hyde. Herbie Hyde? Absolutely. Wow, that's interesting. He knocked me out, did you know? He hit me, everything went blank. I can hear the crowd. He made me get over the last day. He woke up. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, I heard him. Yeah. I wasn't hurt or nothing like that. I wasn't hurt, but he made me just went blank. See, see in boxing? Wow. I can hear the crowd, the crowd, and, I, and he hit me again. Oh, he's like, hey. 
And so I couldn't buy them as much fast for me. So I started heading to the body, hooked to the head, and eventually I got them. See, in boxing, that, that's where, where uh, it, a lot of people get, oh, it's all good, get it twisted where you look at a guy, he's not that big, yeah. but we know he can crack. Like the, the Vera Williamson. They'll give him no credit. They'll give him no credit. Do hit harder in that era? Hit her get the best right hand. Everybody. Who does? But since he his chin wasn't great, he get knocked out. He's got it. Oh, you got he, he dropped Klitschko. You let Devera Williamson drop you, dude. He got murder in his right hand. Literally written on his knuckle. If he hit you, he could knock your head off. But nobody know that because they never fought. They don't understand how guys are. When I fought Devera Williamson. Uh, LaShawn Shepard, he said, man, man, I love both of y'all. Dude, stay away from that right hand, he gonna knock you out. And I'm like, I know that, I sparred with him. He got, right. he got killer in that right hand. I know how hard he hit, but, but scared, everybody man. else, they don't know. I know, because he couldn't get out. He was sitting in the gym, <laughs> hey, well, I want to ask you. He can slip it. I want to ask all you guys. I slipped it. You know, he can punch.